नेक्स्ट इज अबाउट महाकुस्थित kushta prameha or any other kapha vyadhi or sarvanga shopa as such now the other point is about the maha kushta and kushta now kshudra kushta and maha kushta they are classified in the nirana and we have discussed that but in general maybe possibly in this context when shushra says about maha kushta it could be related to the leprosy the other kushtas are the other skin diseases as such that's what we have discussed there earlier and in the maha kushta again there is a difference of opinion between charaka and sushrata which again we have discussed in the nidana but when it comes to the question of maha kushta chikitsa possibly sushrata is aiming at the uh, leprotic illusion as such now the yogas which are mentioned are again there is a interest uh, the may not be practically quite relevant now but important is about the method of preparation and making these uh, mm, drugs more active and that kind of pharmacokinetic techniques pharmacological techniques are certain important issues here and the one of the yogas are kshunan yavan nishputan ratro gomutra parishadan mahati kilinje shoshet evam saptaratram bhavayet shoshet tatah tan kapal bhustan shaktun karayitva pratat pratah evam kushchinam प्रमेहनमुआसाराधिकूर्णचतुर्भागयुक्ता खदिराशन निंब राजवृक्ष रोहितक गुडुचीना अन्यतम से कषाण शर्करा मधु मधुरेण द्राक्षायुक्त दाड़ीम आमक वेतसांगेन सैंधव लवणाजेन पाएत यह सर्वंथक वन ऑफ द योग सीज प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द योग इज यवा हेस् टू बी प्रोसेस् विद गोमूत्र एट नईट इट हेस् बी Uh, uh, dipped in gomutra over the night, and then in the daytime it has to be dried. And for drying, Sushila had used a dryer, and that dryer is called as a kilinja. Kilinja. The description of kilinja is a omsha gutta grachidha petika kara. A box-like uh, uh, instrument prepared with the bamboo sticks as such that was used for drying. And this process of uh, 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 dipping in uh, the gomutra and then again uh, drying is continued for seven time seven days and then it has to be fried and uh, after frying it, it is uh, converted into a shaktu shaktu is uh, something like uh, our fried rice and this fried rice has to be consumed with the uh, drugs like either sharasaradi kashaya or uh, kantaki vriksha kashaya or bhalaka etc with this again you may pre- process them into the other forms like churna and then that churna can be prepared into a, a mantha that's uh, the something like ganji and uh, that has to be consumed so the one of the important is uh, yava process with the gomutra or again the same process the substance could be processed with the pieces of cows or uh, horses and that also can be prepared into the mantha and can be given so that's or they can be prepared into yamakamsha bhakshana dhana ulumbaka kulnasha apupa purna kosha utkarika shastrika kunavi prabhuti na seveta yava vidhanena godhuma venu yavan payindita the same yavas can be converted into or presented in the form of either utkarika or utkarika is puri apupa is what we call as appa just a mass is fried in uh, oil or purna kosha purna kosha is uh, 
something like Hodige, where you keep something in and then the whole outer surface is covered with the floors as such. <coughs> Shashpuri, Takpuri, so on. So different varieties of big dishes could be prepared with this, uh, the same yava and it can be given as such. There are, as you use the yava dhanya, even uh, wheat, gohuma or, or venu yama, that bamboo grain also can be used as such. That's about the mantha and the tuna. Then the aristas. Now, aristana zavakshamaha, putika, chavya, chitraka, suradharus, arivadanti, trivat, tikardanam, pratekam, chatparika, bhagaha, bhagara, kudavat, tripala, kudavaityesha, etasham, churnani, takaha, pippali, madhukrite, antakralite, grasabhadne, prakrita samskare, sapta, udaka kudavan, ayurajo, artha kudavam, artha kudavamita, gudasya abhitani, Churani apya san guptam krutva yava pande sattaratram vasayeta tatho yatha param vajita yesho arishtaha kushtha meha mela pandhoga ashwayathun apahanti evam shara saradho nekrodhalo arabhodhadho charishtan purvita. Now the word arishta in the older samhita like charaka or sushata, both the conditions, arishta is not limited to the preparation after boiling. See, in Sharangadara Samhita, there is a clear-cut definition of Arishta and Asava. Arishta is a, when a fermented product is formed after boiling and Asava is a, a raw substance which is a convert, uh, process with the fermentation. But in uh, earlier to Sharangadara, that kind of a differentiation, actual definition was not really practiced. Anything which is fermented could be either named as Arishta or Asava and probably it would uh, depend upon the intensity or severity of the alcohol content. Asava would, is uh, contained, supposed to have more alcoholic content, whereas Arista would have comparatively lesser alcoholic content. So that may be the possible differentiation of the Arista and Asava, as mentioned in the older Samhitas. But after Sharangadhara, now you have a very clear-cut differentiation, that a clear-cut definition, Arista is prepared after boil, boiling and uh, Asava is uh, the raw. Now, the Arista is mentioned in uh, Sushura in this context is uh, something like that the substance is not boiled. The churna of uh, the drugs like putika, chabeka, etc., they are processed with the water in a pot where the internal surface of the pot is coated with the ghee and then the pot is kept uh, in a warm environment or a heap of uh, the grains for seven days with the, the your jaggery and this is prepared as arista which could be used as a kusta, used in kusta meha meha etc in those conditions. Then asava and the vakshabha, the asavas are palashan, dhasma parishrudasya, ushnodakasya, shiti bhutasya, tayobhagaha, dho pandrasya, ekadhyam arista kalpena vidhyata, evam piradinam chareshu, sharasaradav, negrodhadav, aragvadadav, nutreshcha, asava and vidhyata. The asava prepared with them, the palashakshara or uh, uh, the uh, panita uh, murdya, panita is murdya. And these can be used, or tiladinam tila shara, tilakshara, shara sarandika, etc., can be used. So asava is another alcoholic preparation where the level of alcohol may be slightly more than uh, arista. Then the sura, sura is again more stronger form of the alcoholic preparation where the alcohol percentage may be more. So, and uh, these Asava, Arista, Sura, Shidu, etc., they are mentioned in the Madhya variety also. Later on, when you go into the Madhya and the details of Madhya in Uttara Vindra, you will come across that. The, now, Sura, it could be considered as a, not the alcoholic preparation, which could be consumed otherwise, or those alcoholic preparations which may have slightly still higher level of the probably alcohol, which may have more intoxicating effect as such, they are prepared as a sura, which also could be administered as medicine. And uh, the preparation would be Shinshapa Khadirayoho Saram Adaya Utpachita Uttama Arani Brahmi Koshavati Tatsavam Ekata Kashaya Kalpena Vipachya Udokam Adhita Mandoda Kartham Kimva Pistam Abhishun Yachetoptam Evam Suraha Sharasara Adho Nikroda Adho Aragoda Adho Chepizadhyata Sura preparation is a you have to prepare a kashaya and then for the kashaya, kimopista has to be added. That the residual product of 
a previous fermented uh, material has been added which gives more fermentation and that's how it is prepared as it. Ato avadehan bhikshamaha khadira asana nimba radha bhiksha shala sara kvathe tat sara pindan shalakshra pishtana shalakshra pishtana prakshipya vipaje tato nati drovam nati sandram avatarya tasya panikalam purnam purnam pratarasho मधुमिश्रम दुष्यात एवं शारसारादो निग्रोदादो आरागोदाद चलेहान कारेद अवलेह इगिन इन शार्प्रम शार्गधर अनुमर्स अवलेह इस अलवेस ए प्रिपरेशन प्रिपार विद्ध जागरे वरेस द अवलेह इन द ओल्डर्स मिलास इस लिमिटेड टू एनी सब्सटेंस व्हिच इस प्रेजेंटेड इन ए पार्म ऑफ एस्टिकी सब्सटेंस व्हिच हैव टू बी and the addition of jaggery or addition of any other sweet substance is not necessarily done at the time of the preparation. It could be done at the time of the consumption. Now this is the basic difference between avaleha after shardhara and before shardhara. Now the preparation of avaleha in the kushta is a preparation with the khadira asana nimba etc. The drugs are used and they are boiled till it becomes sticky. Nati Sandra Mahatarya, then uh, every day in the morning it has to be con consumed with the honey. Similarly, Shalasara Dina Grosha Dina also can be prepared. But the Churna Priya Mukshama, Churna could be prepared, and the Churna could be Shalasara Dina Sara Churni Prastham Ahutya, Aragodhani Kashaya Paripitam, Ane Kashaya Shalasara Dina Kashaya Dina Paya, even in the Grosha Dina Mahatarya. Pushpesh Aragodhani Nam Churna Priyam Karayet. So, Shala Saradi Ganam Dravya, Nebrodhani Ganam Dravya or so on. They have to be powdered and they have to be processed with Aragodhani Kashaya repeatedly and that itself could be given. Now, in total, it is about Khadiradi Gana, Asanadi Gana, Nebrodhani Gana, Shala Saradi Gana. These are the most important Ganas which are used in the treatment of the Mahakusta. Then Asamurdom Ayaskrdi Hukshamaha. Ayaskrdi also is a sort of leha, and, but where the loha is added. Uh, iron in any form is added, that's Ayaskrdi. Kishna loha patrani, tanuni, lavana varga pradigdhani, gomaya admi pradigdhani, tripala, shala saradi kashayana, niruvapayet, shoda shabarana. Tataha, khadira, antara sattani, upashanta tapani, sukshma churani karayet, ghanat, गणतान तवो परिश्रावितानि ततो यथा बलम् मात्राम् सर्पिर मधुभ्याम् समस्त्योपयि नीता जीर्णे यथा प्याधि अनम् बलम् अलवरम् आहारम् कुर्वेता एवं तुलाम् उपयिज्य कुष्ठमेहम् यदश्वेतु पार्दरोग उन्मादा अपस्मारा न भर्त्या वर्षश्रम जीवति तुलायाम् तुलायाम् वर्षश्रम मुक्तर्षः येते न सर्वलो prepared out of iron metal. Now again, after the Rasya Shastra development, the, uh, pra, this uh, process of uh, Shodhana and Marana of Lohas or metallic substances, see, consumption of the metallic substances are making them bioassailable. See, metallic substances, they by nature are inorganic and it has to be prepared into, converted into organic substance and that method was standardized after Rasya, Rasya Shastra much later than even Shankadana, where the process of Marana and Shodhana are standardized. Whereas earlier to that, the material, metallic metals were very few, were, in, were used as medicine in a very few instances, rather much lesser in Charaka Samhita, in Sushu Samhita, a few more than Charaka. And the technique is, instead of Marana as it's done now, the homogenizing them, the metal would be, like the a leaf of iron is heated and it is a, uh, dipped in Tripala Shala Saradika Shaya. A heated substance is immediately dipped and so on, so that gradually that metal gets uh, fragile and a good component or a good significant amount of that metallic particles would be dissolved in that solution. Now this is a similar technique to that of preparation of the nanomaterials. Now nanomaterials and nanotechnology is uh, one of the most latest technology used in the pharmacology. And uh, one method, simple method of uh, con uh, converting a molecule into a nanometer, uh, nanomolecule would be 
heating it to a high temperature and cooling it suddenly in some liquid. Of course, the liquids are different, materials are different, that's the technology is different, but the idea, concept is the same. Now, Shushuda's method of preparation of this IS Kriti is also one of that uh, primitive attempt to maybe, maybe, then I use the word maybe, to convert a inorganic substance into organic substance. So, technologies developing in the pharmaco uh, pharmacology, these are certain of the important issues. Then, uh, after that, they again are uh, crushed, that metallic leaves are crushed or powdered with the, after heating with the khadiranda and then uh, it has to be used with the sarpi and madhu, directly with the sarpi and madhu has to be consumed and during this period, patient has to avoid all sour and salty food and if you use one tula, one tula is around uh, thousand palas, something like around, uh, maybe something around 48 kg, something around that. And if you use that much, uh, your life will be 100 years. And by increasing every tula, the life would increase, the total expected life period would increase by another 100 years incremental. And this way you can live for thousands of years. Trivartha Shama Agnimantha Sabdala Kevuka Shankhini Tilvaka Tripala Palasha Shimshapa Nam Sorasam Adaya Palashyam Dronyam Phyasicca Khadirangara Taptam Ayapindam Trisatta Krutva Nirvapya Pramadaya Kunaha Asicca Taptasthalyam Gome Agnina Vipajeta Tazaha Chaturtha Bhaga Vashishtam Avtarya Parisravya Bhuyo Agni Saptani Ayapatrani Prakshipeta Sidjati Jasmin, people are the tuna pagam, do mutunaha, power gritasia, iti the theater, Tata, Prashantam, I say patre, Sonutan in the theater, Tato, Yetha Yogam, Shuktim, Pakuntam, Puyita, Jirne, Yetha Biati, Aharam Puseveta, Yesha, Ushada, Ayas Kuti, Asadim Kustam Premium was a deity, Stulam Apatashati, Shofam Upahanti, Sunim, Sunam Agni Mutarati, Vishesh and Supatishi Rade Shimilam. Vashish Raish Anaya Purusho Bhoti, Shala Saradi Kvatham Asijya, Palashyam Dronyam Ayoghanam Tapta Nirvapya, Krita Samskare Kalashe Abhyasijya, Pippadhyadi Churnabhagam Shaudram Budamiti Chattatva, Sanugutta Nidadhyata, Yeta Mahoshada Ayaskritim Masam Atamasam Vastitam Yadabalam Upayinita, Evam Nekradadav Arevatadi Shuchak Vidadhyata. Another preparation of the Ayaskriti, where the tribute shama etc. The drugs, they are, uh, their sorasa is boiled in a palasha droni, a vessel of palasha tree and it has to be heated there. And it has to be heated for 21 times, that's uh, 21 times they have to be processed and then it has to be heated in a metallic vessel. Then after that, it ha you have to have the leaves of metal heated and dipped in the same solution and it again it has to be processed in a ISA patra, iron vessel it has to be processed and kept in a uh, for fermentation or pro further uh, fermentation as such and then it has to be consumed in a form of shukti or in a dose of shukti or prakujja uh, and it can be this use is used to even in uh, incurable kusta and prameha it reduces the weight, reduces the shofa, it improves the agni and it's a very useful in Radhyakshma and it increases life by 100 years. This is what's mentioned by Sushita. Similarly, a similar preparation with the Shaudra Buddha also can be used as it. Tataha Khadira Vidanam Padekshamaha. Now another very sophisticated technique of preparation of the medicine. Precious Desha Jatam, Anupuhatam, Matyavesam, Khadiram, Paridaha Khatayitva, Tasya Madhyamam Moolam Chitva, Ayomayam Kumbham Tasmin Antarainita Dhyata, Yata Rasagrahan Samartho Bhoti, Tataha Tam Gomayam Rudha Avadipya, Avakirya Indhanehi Gomayam Mishraiha Adipayetu, Yata Asti Drakshamana Asti Rasaha, Sravati Adhasat, Tad Yata Janiyat Purnam Bhadanamiti, Ata Yenam Udhatya, Paris Rabia, Rasam Anyasmin Patre Nidhaya, Anugunam Anukutum Nidhatya, Tato, Yetha Yogam, Matram, Amalakarasamudusar Pilbi, Samsudyo Vita, 
जीर्णे प्रलाक विधान आहार परहार प्रस्थेत उपयुक्त शत वर्षा आयुषो अभिवृद्धि कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन ऑफ ए मेडिसिन यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट ए खजीरा प्लांट खजीरा ट्री विच इज अ वेल डेवलप्ड प्लांट इज हैविंग हेल्दी लाइफ एसेज देन डिग अराउंड द ट्री ट्राई फाइंड इट इट्स अ टैप रूट द मेन रूट हैज टू बी आइडेंटिफाइड एंड कट दैट टैप रूट एंड कीप ए पॉट एट द कट एंड ऑफ दैट टैप रूट देन द होल पॉट हैज टू बी कवर in such a way that any juice coming out of that tap root is collected in the pot then the whole tree is burnt whole tree is given fire so as it is set on fire the this there will be lot of the these contents leaking into the vessel and at the end of that process that the juice which is collected in the vessel is uh, separated and it has to be Uh, taken consumed with the the balla ta kavi this amalaka rasa madhu sarpi bhi amalaka amalaka rasa madhu aur sarpi they have to be added and this has to be consumed it. similarly balla ta kavi dhana also can be process or sorry the process during this time the patient has to uh, follow the techno uh, this uh, method of consumption of food as in case of balla ta kavi dhana that means uh, only milk and uh, he has to avoid all rigorous physical activity and if you use one crust of this juice you will be living for 100 years of course it's a very complicated innovative method of preparation but impractical in the present day situation may not be practicable so i don't suggest that we are able to do it or not but we need to appreciate the efforts of sushila to make the molecules of the drug more active technologies of that day today in the present day situation we may have a different sort of technology where again the same physical energy like heat and so on is used but we may use it in a very sophisticated laboratory environment control environment where as such the technology seems to be crude but still we need to appreciate that khajira saratula mudaka drone vipatya shodasha amsha avashishta avataryam anguttam nirajyat esha amala kara samudha sarpi sansadhya upayita if this whole process becomes more complicated the other option is khajira sara is used Uh, with this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, amalaka rasa madhu sarpi etc esha sarva ruksha sareshu kalpa similarly other ruksha sansadar tree sansaka and use for the preparation of the sar khajira sara churna tulam khajira sara kwata matra ma pradak pradak upasevita khajira swara kat khajira sara kwata siddham abikam cha vasar pihi khajira sara churna itself or khajira sara kwata or khajira sara kwata with the, the sheep's ghee ghee prepared out of sheep to milk amsavalli chorasam kwatam va prata prata ko seveta tat siddham va sarpi either amsavalli kwata or it's a, a ghee preparation or aparagne sasarpishkam odanam amalaka yushena bujita evam masam upaja sarupu seva muchate iti this also is another of the preparation where amsavalli chorasa is given in the morning and then in the afternoon Uh, ghee and uh, rice has to be used with the amala pavusha and this has to be consume, consumed for one month and that will be relieving all kushtas that's what sushil says krishna tila bhallataka tailam amala karasa sarpishanam dronam shala saradi kashaya sita tripala trikatuka parushaka phalamajja vidanga phalasara chitraka sutra arka avalbuja haridra dvaya trivrta danti dravanti इंद्रयव यष्टी मधुक अति विष रसाजन प्रियंगूना पालिका भागा तान एक स्नेहपाक विधान पचेत तत् साधु सिद्ध अवतार्य पिश्राव्य अनुगुप्त निद्यात तद उपसंस्कृत शरीर प्रातः प्रातः वृद्धा पाणीशुक्ति मात्र क्षौत्रेण प्रतिसंसुद्य उपयुंजित जीर्णे मुद्गामरकयुषेण अलमणन सर्पिष्मत खदिरोधक सिद्ध मृदोदन अश्नीया खदिरोधक सेबी इत्येवं द्रोणम उपयुज्य सर्वकुष्ठे विमुक्त शुद्धतन स्मृतिम वर्षश्रायुरो अरोगो सुरामंत आसव अरिष्ट लेखा चूर्णा अयस्कृति सहस्रशोपि कुरुवीत बीजेन अने बुद्धि एनदर ऑफ द प्रिपरेशन वुड बी भल्लाटक तेल आमल करस एंड भी हेस् टू बी किप्ट इन आर् प्रोसेस् विद शारसराद कषा एंड Uh, this, uh, along with that, triple acid, the drugs are added, 
and they are to be processed as in sneha paka vidhana taila has to be prepared and this taila has to be consumed in the form, in the dose of pani shukti that's prakunja uh, dose and uh, the during this period patient has to consume only mutta amalaka yusha as such with the kadirodaka siddham amrutodana soft uh, substance have to be used as such and this will be used uh, used for uh, the uh, avoidance or cure of the pusta as well as uh, the, pers- the memory of the person will be increased uh, improved and he will live for 100 years without any diseases now of course all these yogas they seem to be you now pra- not so practicable now from the current point of view when we treat about the uh, leprosy you need to have some clear idea about the legal implications the legal implications related to the uh, leprosy in india and i will be focusing mainly on the uh, indian situation of course throughout the globe the global leprosy strategy is a uh, uh, towards zero leprosy by 2030 and this was developed and based on the guidelines of that uh, the uh, who strategy the indian laws are formed and the indian uh, important things which we need to know about uh, the legal issues related to the leprosy treatment are one is the eliminating discrimination against persons affected by leprosy edpa bill 2015 of course it's not yet made a law so still this is in the form of bill maybe maybe in the coming sessions of parliament it may become a law as such then there is a law uh, this uh, guidelines about national strategic plan and road map for leprosy 2023 to 27 this already done which is uh, do not mandatory binding which we should know practically we should know about the contents there and what is there uh, the issue and the target of zero transmission of leprosy is by 2027 and uh, irrespective of the system of practice we should know the contents so i am not going to the complete detail of that but certain basic issues which every practitioner should know would be based upon the national eradication program national leprosy eradication program and the manual which is released by 2019 i have just taken a few of those uh, uh, contents from that so that you are sensitized that's all the point the my purpose is not to go into the details of the whole program but being a medical practitioner you should know about the issues and should be sensitized based upon the data uh, available of the leprosy throughout the globe uh, and the india is having highest number of leprosy conditions this is based upon the data in 2018 of course uh, the current latest uh, data india is not the top top is uh, other countries ethiopia and some african countries are the top contents like so in 2018 india was the top uh, country where the number of leprosy patients were more and uh, now as per the 21 2021 data uh, based upon the programs of this national health policy the prevalence rate has decreased to 0.1 per 10000 and annual new cases detection rate has declined by 4.58 per 1 lakh in 2021 child cases percentage among new cases detected has been reduced to 0.76% in uh, 2021 and grade to disability among new cases has been decreased to 2.48% and so on so the health program is uh, giving some results as per the data now certain of the things which we have to know is uh, the way as per the guidelines now this is based upon the uh, is uh, uh, guidelines given by the health department so i am not taking it from the textbooks as such for the criteria of classification of the leprosy uh, from the our guideline point of view it is based upon two issues quasi bacillary or multi bacillary quasi bacillary is one and multi bacillary is a, where more than one leprosy is there and the treatment would be for longer period and multi drug uh, treatment is necessary and uh, the quasi bacillary the um, criteria is uh, when the skin lesions are less than 1 1 to uh, less than 5 it's a quasi bacillary if it's more than 6 uh, they are multi bacillary if the peripheral nerve is either not involved or only nerve is one nerve is involved then it's a quasi and when more than one nerve is involved then it's a multi bacillary if the skin smears are negative in all sides 
it's a possible accessory if it is positive in at any one site even then it's a multi accessory or the grading of the disabilities again based upon our standard criteria of national leprosy eradication program this is not from the medical text so there is a difference of uh, maybe slight difference in these gradings in the other medical text and then these guidelines so i'm just putting this from the guidelines directly copying from that the grading of the disabilities hands and feet if there is no anesthesia it is zero and if it's grade one anesthesia is present with the palm and sole but uh, no visible deformity or damage or weakness as such grade two is when there is a visible damage as such or the other grading is based upon the eye signs no eye problem due to leprosy or no evidence of visual loss then grade zero grade two is if there is severe visual impairment now these disability definition and disability criteria are necessary to get the aid from the government see the government would be having some uh, aids to the leprosy patients support care and for that this grading is necessary and the grading is based upon a medical person's opinion and hence we have to know about this now in brief again uh, the this is what the national health policy suggests and it's a uh, at, at this moment this is not made mandatory but uh, maybe in a few uh, in the coming days the protocol of treatment would be mandatory as it is done in case of the tuberculosis now in the tuberculosis the uh, drug regimen given by the, uh, uh, by the health mission is uh, made mandatory legally if it is not done there will be punishment but with the leprosy still it's not at that stage but it's recommended it's a recommendation and the recommendation now from our national health program point of view, the current existing is that if it is a multi bachelory one, then it has to be multi drug reg regimen, and the multi drug regimen for the adults is a, a combination of rifampicin once in a month, dapsone 100 milligram daily, clopazimine once in a month, and clopazimine 50 milligram daily. This is the protocol given, and it has to be continued for a few months as such. Or if it is a you know, possible auxiliary, then rifampicin once in a month and daxone daily and for six months. This is the protocol for adults. For children, again the drugs are almost same, but uh, the dosage is lesser. Uh, rifampicin 450 milligram once in a month and uh, daxone 50 milligram, flocacimine 150 milligram per month and then 50 milligram alternate days. Uh, possible salary, rifampicin and daxone, uh, same schedule for 12 months or 6 months. This is the standard protocol. This we have to be aware. Now either you may prescribe or it's better that the patient is referred to a, a government hospital the patient and treated. With this, we will conclude this chapter with early. It is social sanitary chikitsasane mahapusha chikitsasana dashamodhyayaha. If there are any questions, I will try to answer and then we will conclude. Right, there are no questions, so we will wind up today. Thank you. Thank you, sir.